What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today we got a box from PlayAsia. This is some stuff I pre-ordered and actually forgot about. But let's crack this sucker open and show you what I'm working with. The cool thing about PlayAsia is they always throw like coupons in the box. And if you pre-order something and it's been a while, like I've had them throw extra shit in there for me. One time I even got an extra game. It was like a, like a tech demo for something, nothing too crazy. But you know, I appreciate that kind of stuff, especially when you pre-order something and the company just kind of acknowledges that they're taking a while. But here we have a game called Palomari. I guess that's how you pronounce that, Palomari. And another, it's a shooter, it's called Rim 9000, uh, which was kind of off-putting when I saw gameplay footage of the game. But uh, you know, after playing it for a little while, I, I think it's a pretty pretty enjoyable game. I actually prefer it. Uh, <laughs> I prefer it to Palomari, actually, which is a decent shooter, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing real quick. Now, interesting thing about Play Asia on all their collector's editions, which is they're great collector's editions in my opinion. It gives you an art card, the soundtrack, and the game. That's all the main stuff I'm worried about anyway. Art books are cool, but you know, the soundtracks, if I really like, if I'm feeling a soundtrack to a game, you know, I can bring it in my car because, you know, cars, most of them these days still have a CD slot. You know, you can bump it in your car, you know, rip it to a, you know, Windows Media Player, you know, use it in your YouTube videos, which is something I do, you know, quite a lot of, especially on those shooters that have, you know, like the OSTs and stuff like that. Uh, I still need to get that Escatos OST. It's like the best OST ever, but Anyway, let's crack this sucker open, and guaranteed inside of here, it's going to be an art card, uh, CD soundtrack, uh, the game, you know, whether or not the game has an extensive manual, that's, uh, well, we'll find out, but, you know, they're all the same size, they come with a plastic sleeve, that way you can open your game and still slide it inside of a plastic sleeve, I really like that, but, yeah, there's the, uh, the contents right there, Powamari, um, you know, this game's got like a rock, paper, scissors uh, mechanic. It, it kind of plays like a cell phone shooter. Um, it uses the full screen. It, it, it's okay. Um, I don't like how it has that inward angled uh, point, shot point, whatever you want to call that. It's like uh, like the Sylphie games that came out on the on the PS2 and the Sega CD. Well, I, I like Sylphie a little bit better than I like Power Mario, but you know, it's okay. I initially downloaded this game on the Switch and when I saw a physical for PS4, I, you know, I pre-ordered it the same day I found out about it. And it looks like they only made 2,000 of these. You know, I just got a... It's kind of cool to play if there's that little number card in there. This is, uh, you know, I guess a low number. But let's just see if this old song bitch got a manual inside of it. It feels kind of light. So it feels like there's going to be something in there. But it's going to be like one of those fake manuals. Like you get from like limited run games or something. Um... You know, kind of cool artwork, you know, it's okay. You know, it's cool to see any shooter come out physically and... Okay, man, it even says manual, alright, we have a manual. That's a, that's a good thing. Okay, it's a full color manual, not the biggest manual. It has a note section in the back, that's always awesome. A uh, little, little bit of story on the game. You got some inside, not alternative artwork, but inside artwork for inside the case. And uh, yeah, you know, not an expensive game either, you know, so pretty cool. Now this Rim 9000 game, this thing was really cheap. I didn't, you know, I knew it was a shooter. I knew a little bit about it. Didn't get it from PlayAsia's website right when it launched. I, I don't think anyone did. Um, you know, this thing's still for sale. Uh, you know, as we speak, it's February, end of February of uh, 2020. I actually got to make an insurance payment today. Just thought about that. Um, but again, we have the plastic case. Awesome. So we can open the game in peace and not worry about. Uh, you know, the case getting dinged up and, you know, unless you want to get like a retro protection box or something, but, you know, that might be overkill. That's overkill for these games. They're cool in the plastic. You know, I'm not going to sit on one or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be the same thing like you just saw in the other game. There's going to be like a little art card because each age is soft. Um, OST. There's actually a spine card on these OSTs, which I like. Um, something they, uh, you know, they never caught on over here. I don't ever remember getting a spine card on anything unless it was like something retro inspired or, or whatever. But there's the box. I actually like that artwork better than Palomari. I prefer Rim 9000 to Palomari. I guess I'm pronouncing that right, Palomari. I think this is the better of the two games. Um, art card, the art, artwork looks better. Although this game might give you a seizure if you play it. Um, you know, just look at the gameplay footage. It's like, it kind of plays like a tech demo, but it's an it's a arcade style shooter. Um, I really like that OST packaging right there. You know, pretty cool. I don't know how the soundtracks are to any of these games, but I know if they're good, I could rip them, bump them, use it in videos, whatever. 
And I'm assuming this game probably has a manual too since it's a East Asia Soft Collector's Edition. And these games only came out in these editions like this. They didn't come out uh, like in a standard edition. Um, on the Nintendo Switch, some of these games that launched on the Switch, like uh, I think for example, um, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but some of them came in collector's editions and they came out just the game uh, for a little bit cheaper. But overall, these things are pretty cheap from uh, East Asia Soft. And we have a manual, which feels about the same size as the other manual we saw. Room 9000. A little bit of story there. Um, full color manual. Awesome. This game's got some pretty wild visuals. Notes section, unless we want to take some you know, notes, which I doubt we would, but if we want to. There's the game, and we have some inner cover art there as well. So, yeah, I really dig these uh, collector's editions. or These are really standard edition <laughs> releases just with OSTs and art cards from PlayAsia or East Asia Soft. I had off today. Today's Tuesday, February the 25th, the release date of the Mega Man Zero ZX collection, almost 12 o'clock. Problem is, though, GameStop still closed. Like, what the hell? It's almost noon, GameStop. Like, you guys need to tighten up. It even says on the door... They're supposed to be open at 10 a.m. I mean, what the hell, man? Come on, GameStop. Okay, so I went to GameStop. Obviously, they were closed. I went to Best Buy. Best Buy said they had this game in stock. They didn't have it in stock. I waited around for them to try to find it. On my way home, swung back through the GameStop. They were open. The girl at the counter, though, she was really, really nice, really friendly, friendlier than most people at GameStop. She didn't try to shove pre-orders and crap down my throat. Now, I will say this, I am in uniform for work, so maybe that has something to do with it, but, you know, usually people try to treat me pretty greasy when I'm in uniform for work. But anyway, here we have the Mega Man Zero ZX Collection on the Nintendo Switch, and this game feels pretty light. I would doubt if there's a manual or anything in here. Maybe we get some cool little alternative cover art, but, you know, we'll see. Now, I have most of these games on the Nintendo DS, uh, Game Boy Advance. Not all of them. I don't have, like, all the Zero games on the Advance, but everything else I've pretty much got. And I will be selling all that stuff. If I can put all that stuff into one cartridge and play it on the Switch. It, oh, man, that's terrible. Look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, luckily, there's a cart in there. Let's see how many of these games are actually on the cartridge and aren't just download. Uh, I mean, there wasn't, like, a download code paper in there, so that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah... It would have been nice for, come on Capcom, I know this game was only 30 bucks, but man, throw a manual, throw something in there. Anyways, till next time guys, peace out.